Hey y'all, it's Mystery e here, and today we are talking about this custom UI that I spent uh, like three or four hours slaving over yesterday. Uh, just making this video to show you what it does, and uh, hopefully show you how to make it a lot easier and quicker than I spent the time doing. Um, first and foremost, if you are not playing on PC, you can't do this. Sorry, sucks to be you. Uh, I would definitely uh, invest some resources in buying a PC. It's 2024. It's time to time to game for real, guys. Um, so we've got a lot of information here in the center. Let me tell you what it all does. In the top left corner, that's your ammo count. And then above that, when you reload, it'll show you a timer to when you can next fire the gun. Then below that and the crescent on the left side, that's my health bar. Uh, it'll corrupt and turn purple as I am, uh, you know, corrupted if that's the case or the number in the bar will be less full if I'm hurt. Below that at 12, 11, 10, 9, etc. That's my grenade count. Um, that number in one in the brackets, that is uh, that is just an extra one that I could not get rid of. That's my keybind for my ability. I want that to be gone, but I have no idea how to get rid of it. So if you do know how to get rid of this, please tell me in the comments. I would love you very much. Top right is my dodge count. Blue number on the right side. That's my, shh, shut up, so funny. Uh, that's my toughness in percentage. Uh, it's only important to know the percentage for your toughness, right? Because that it, that tells you the percentage of the damage of a melee attack that you're going to take. And pretty much all toughness related things in the game come as a, a percentage. So, um, you know, if, if I do take a hit or something, that number is no longer blue and the bar, the little crescent next to it is no longer blue, it turns yellow. So I'll know that it's time to do something like charge or, you know, hide out for a second so I can get my toughness back and get back to the 100% number. Then in the red number, which you can see changing right here, that's my critical chance. I'm kind of mixed about whether I want this critical chance here. I think I might remove it and put something else in because critical chance, you know, you either have it or you don't, right? You're not really changing the way you gameplay, the way you play the game around whether or not you have critical chance at any given moment. Um, let me go show you the other thing that's actually hidden right now, which is that I have my buffs that will show up on the sides here. You can see in the left side, the left of my health, uh, I have Uncanny Strike, as well as Thrusts that pop up over there. Those are my weapon buffs. On the right, I have two different buffs, uh, you know, three in a few seconds here. I have the 20% um, attack speed steroid from using F Faithful of the Frenzy, or Frenzy of the Faithful, whatever it is, this, the charge ability um, that lasts for 10 seconds. It's really nice because it allows me to be like, oh yeah, I have, you know, I have three seconds where I need to use that ability again. And then you can see I also have my lovely, um, my Blazing Piety stacks over there. So I can know like, okay, how close am I to getting that extra 25% um, crit chance? Okay, I have the 25% crit chance. How long before I need to get another kill or another crit? It looks like about four seconds. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. All right. And yeah, the whole idea behind this is to like, you know, be aware of what my buffs are at any time with just a glance without having to look too far away from the center of the screen. So. How do you get the setup if, if this is something that, that interests you? Well, you'll need three mods to do that. If you wanna know how to mod and you don't know how to mod, go check out my other video. It's a modding tutorial. Literally just search like on my channel, search like mods or something and click on the more recent one with the, the rainbow word mods in the thumbnail. That one is like a step-by-step -step guide it should help you out. But we need three mods for this to work. The first one we need is Crosshair HUD. The second one we need is Better Buff Management. And the third is Custom HUD. So with all three of those, um, you can make this, except you won't have the little critical thing, which is fine. It doesn't really play very nice with those other ones anyway. So once you've got those three installed, the first one we're gonna mess with is we're going to mess with Crosshair HUD. Now Crosshair HUD has um, health and toughness enabled by default, but there's some changes we need to make to them. So first in the health settings, what I did is I turned on, or well, the display gauge is already on, but then I turned on scale independently. This allows me to make that gauge, a little crescent shape, bigger than the text is, because I don't want that text much bigger. I don't need to know my health number as like some huge digit. Um, I just need to know, you know, roughly what my health is at a glance. So I also turn on scale, uh, move independently, which allows me to, instead of having like when it's default, there's like the crescent is like way off to the side to the left, and there's this big awkward gap. So I turned on uh, move independently and I scooched it in and made it much closer and cleaner. Then I turned off display permanent health text. This is just something that I, I don't really understand why you would use that. So I turned that off. Toughness settings, I did the exact same thing. I turned 
um, move independently and scale independently on so I can make it a little bit bigger and scooch it in closer to the text. Then I had to go down here and turn off ability because I'm using the hexagon, the, the you know, the classic uh, ability icon for the game. I don't need their built in one. So I turned theirs off and then I had to turn on ammo settings and grenade settings and I move them in closer. So I, I won't show you exactly pixel by pixel where all that stuff is going because it looks like a mess. You'll see it in a second, but I'll let you mess around with that for yourself. And that's generally the first step you want to do. Then we need to uh, pull up our HUD and move its elements. So here's what happens when you press F3. This is custom HUD, the second mod that I talked about or like whatever it was. Um, this just allows you to move different elements of your screen. And I need you to do a couple things right now. The first thing is you need to get those um, elements like the ultimate icon and move it sort of towards the center. The way you move things is you click them and that one is teleported for some reason. You click them, left click them, and then you use your arrow keys to move them around like this. So a really fun like Tetris sort of thing. Um, so get all those elements like your little crescents and your stuff oriented towards the center of the screen. In fact, you can get like 90% of the way done with this just in this step right here. So make sure everything is nice and lined up where you want it to be. It can be above your eye uh, reticle, it can be below, wherever you need it to be. Um, some people don't like it symmetrical. Some people like a lot of stuff on like one side and want to keep most of their screen on the right side free. Who knows? Do You do you, champ. Um, but that, this is how you'll do that. The other really important thing here is when you look down in this bottom, um, you will see some buffs down or some bars down here that say like HUD element, uh, element buffs or something like that. We do not want any buffs showing up on our screen that we do not expressly say, hey, you buff be on my screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click that and it'll turn gray like this, that dark gray color, and that just hides it entirely. So, um, you know, like over here on the right, if I never want to see my my, uh, my players that are playing with me, I can right click their bars. And even if I have players in the game, I won't see their bars at all. But I do want to see them. So I'll turn them back on. I can also hide chat, you know, all that stuff by right clicking it. Um, so now that we've got that set up, we've hidden our bar with the buffs. So what will happen is you'll have no buffs at all. Um, you know, you won't see things uh, like, you know, your charge buff it won't appear anywhere on the screen. So we need to create our own bars in order to put those buffs where we want them and to separate them into um, the categories that we actually want to be showing. Because there's a lot of buffs in this game, you know, just for off the top of my head, Benediction, right? This is an aura. I literally always have the aura. I'm not gonna be making any different gameplay decisions based on whether or not I have that buff, right? Um, yeah, it might feel cool to have a big fat stack of buffs, but it visually clutters the space. And when I'm like playing, I just need to know, okay, I've definitely, I've got, I can see at a glance, I've got one buff, I'm missing the second one. That means that I need to, uh, you know, hold the attack a little longer to get that second buff to pop up, that sort of stuff. Something that's gameplay affecting. So for the Zealot, the buffs that really matter are the 20 second or the 10 second attack speed steroid that's inferior to the faithful and the duelist steroid because that lets you know that like, oh yeah, I dodged an attack. I have three seconds to retaliate um, where it'll be really, really pale are really powerful as well as the counter for blazing piety because you do need to know um when you uh you know roughly how close you are to having that stacked up uh it can make a difference in uh whether you're aggressive or you want to get a little stacked more stacked before you get into combat okay um defensive buffs as a rule i do not put them onto the the, the bar because like you have the defenses you have right you're not gonna be playing any different um really when you when you have defenses you should be playing you know safe the, the whole time regardless all right so how do i get them uh how do i get them separated and or organized well it's using that third uh one we talked about which is called better buff management and better buff management what we're going to do is we need to create two new buff bars so in order to do that you have come up here and you type your you know buff bar name i'll type new and then i'll uh, hit create buff bar so you can see it popped up down here and also I'm opening the store in the background because it doesn't uh, realize I have hotkeys <laughs> for my different store locations so I'm teleporting around uh, so you can see when I drop down new there's nothing populated in this list so this bar exists which I can show you right now uh, let's get back out of this menu you can see new is going to be somewhere down here is this it it's somewhere here 
It's hiding behind something. But that bar I just made is uh, is somewhere on the screen. Um, so you'll have to locate the bar you made. I, maybe it just isn't, isn't populated yet. Oh, probably because it doesn't have anything in it. I don't know. Um, so that bar will pop up somewhere on your F3 screen. And once you get some stuff dragged into it, so like for instance, um, I need to say like, okay, I only want like these certain types of buffs to appear in there. Maybe you want a buff that, or a bar that only tells you when you're in negative shit. So I would say, okay, like I don't wanna be in gas or fire. Um, I don't want to be in regular fire, um, that good sort of stuff. So I'm gonna put that in the new bar and I'll hit the drop down here for new and then I'll hit add selected buffs to bar. Okay, so now this new bar will pop up with only these buffs or the buffs as they are and you know we can reposition that stuff as needed so i'll go into here okay now it's popped up because there was something in it um so here it is so this bar right here i'm going to reposition it where i want it maybe i want to see it right there so that my buffs pop up over here um and as i remembered that was for like gas grenades and stuff oh here let's just do this so now i should see Well, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Uh, it probably wasn't the right ones for, for that. Um, here's another, here's a fun tip. Uh, these buffs are super fucking annoying, okay? This is what took me three hours. So just as a as a, a friendly tip from me to you, if you are trying to put uh, a subset of weapon buffs into a bar, don't even fucking bother because there's like 15 redundancies. Like look how many different um, versions of what you would think is um, I think it's fire frenzy or whatever I had to put into here. I had, I have like seven different ones of that. I have, I don't know how many versions of thrust one, two, three, four, like they're for all different weapons and stuff, but then there's also different tiers within the weapons. Just go ahead and put all of them in there. And same thing with debuffs. Just put them all in this area right here. Cause I'm, what I'm certain happened there is, yeah, I was standing in fire, but it, oh, it wasn't green fire. I was standing in red fire. So if I put that there, it probably would have burned me and it probably would have showed up there. But so once I get that bar, I'll reposition where I want it. Let me show you where I think you should put your bars. Um, the two positions I have for my bars are right here. It's they're long. They grows out all the way over this way. And then the second one is right here and it grows out this way. And this is the bar that has my weapon buffs in it. Weapon buffs, there's only like two that can affect you at any given time, right, on your active weapon. So um, it's only gonna take a little bit of space. It's not gonna run the risk of like growing out here into your main UI and like overriding everything and going off the side of your screen. However, your personal buffs, like your class buffs and stuff, a lot of times you have way more of those going on. So I put it to the right so that it can grow to the right. I could not figure out if there was a way to make it like grow, you know, from right to left instead of left to right. So I just did it this way. Um, so I've got two separate bars and let me quickly show you how to find the buffs for those bars. For my weapon buff bars, like for instance, I'm using the combat sword. I literally just did this. I search combat or sorry, I'm using a dueling sword, but that falls under the purview of combat sword. So I search combat sword. Good luck finding weapons, by the way, because they're all called like just absolutely stupid shit that the developers did not like they weren't talking to each other when they named the weapon. So yeah, uh, good luck finding that. So I literally just took this and I hit select all and I added them all to the buff bar because I know that, you know, if I'm using a weapon, I want the buffs to appear there. And yeah, no, no problem with that. So I've got all the weapon buffs appearing on the left side. And then on my right side, I've got just the buffs I want for my class. Um, so for Zealot, I just want my rage. I want my duelist. Um, and I want my uh, my attack speed from my ultimate. So those are the, the three that I selected and I put them in this other bar here. In order to find stuff for your class, it's actually way easier. Just search Zealot if you're playing a Zealot. Just search uh, Psyker if you're playing a Psyker. Just search Veteran if you're playing a Veteran. And guess what you have to search if you're playing Ogren? I don't know because Ogren... Uh, <laughs> Oh wait, no, it is Ogren. Okay, maybe I just misspelled it. Okay, good, they did. Okay, I must have misspelled it earlier. <laughs> yeah, Ogren, okay. Just search Ogren if you're playing Ogren. And that'll show you all the buffs to your class and you can pick the ones that you need. So that'll be really handy, handy for stuff like your cooldowns and your rocks. You'll be able to see that right there on the middle part of your screen. Okay, so once you've got those set out into those separate bars, position them as necessary and, uh, and get them out of that center part of, of your screen. 
And I think that's everything, guys. There is some stuff that's missing from this. If you were playing a Psyker, if you were playing a, um, a veteran using Plasma Gun, I do not have it set up for um, the heat on the Plasma Gun or the Peril on the Psyker, but those are all things that are configured within Custom Hut, or not Custom Hut, they're configured within, um, what is this called? The UI, the Crosshair HUD. So you can just scroll down and find, um, here, the Psyker indicators, just for Psykers, or the uh, Peril and Overheat settings for the for the gun and for Psykers. So just, yeah, just, just use that custom HUD uh, and get it all positioned, and then spend f uh, a literal eternity in this F3 menu getting everything positioned as you need. And don't be shy about right-clicking stuff and just, like, saying, like, fuck off, I never want to see you again. Like, this, this bar I just created that has the debuffs in it, I never want to see it again. So I'm just going to completely block it. All right, guys, I think that's everything you need to know to get it set up. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts about other stuff I could change about the UI or if you like it, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.